Snakes are terrifying to many people due to their unpredictable, stealthy movements and the potential danger posed by venomous species, which can strike quickly and cause serious harm. Additionally, their limbless, slithering appearance and ability to ambush prey evoke a primal fear rooted in human survival instincts. Titanoboa was the largest snake ever discovered, living approximately 60 million years ago during the Paleocene Epoch. Measuring up to 42 feet, which is 13 meters in length, and weighing an estimated 2,500 pounds, which is 1,135 kilograms, it was a powerful constrictor capable of exerting immense pressure to suffocate and crush its prey, which included large reptiles and fish. Its massive size, combined with its predatory efficiency and ability to thrive in tropical, swampy environments, made it a dominant and formidable apex predator, instilling fear through its overwhelming physical dominance. Its scientific name Titanoboa serigenensis means giant boa from Serajon, referencing its enormous size and the Serajon formation in Colombia where it was discovered during fossil excavations in 2009. Early reconstructions based on vertebrae and rib fossils revealed its massive size and allowed scientists to estimate its gigantic length and weight. Titanoboa was classified in the family Boidae, which includes modern boas and pythons, due to shared morphological features like vertebral structure and constriction behavior. Its closest living relatives are the green anaconda and the common boa. However, the titanoboa dwarfed the largest modern snakes, such as the green anaconda, which reaches up to only 30 feet, which is 9 meters in length. With its staggering length and massive weight, the titanoboa dwarfed nearly all other creatures in its environment, including massive crocodiles like Deinosuchus, which were 20 feet, which is 6 meters in length. Titanoboa's most formidable weapons were its immense size and muscular constricting capabilities. Combined with powerful jaws lined with numerous sharp, recurved teeth, Titanoboa's prey would die primarily through asphyxiation and trauma caused by its powerful constriction. After ambushing its victim, Titanoboa would coil its massive body around the animal and exert tremendous pressure, compressing the ribcage and restricting lung expansion. This suffocation would prevent the prey from breathing, leading to a swift loss of consciousness. Additionally, the immense force could cause significant internal injuries, including broken bones or ruptured organs, further ensuring a quick and terrifying death. After subduing its prey, Titanoboa would swallow its prey whole due to its immense size and flexible jaw structure. Once the prey was incapacitated, Titanoboa would loosen its grip, allowing its massive jaw to unhinge, creating a wide gape capable of enveloping large animals. Using its muscular throat, Titanoboa would then gradually pull its prey into its mouth, often starting with the head to minimize resistance. As it ingested the prey, its recurved teeth would help grip the flesh, preventing escape. The snake's highly elastic skin and stomach would accommodate the bulk of the prey, allowing it to consume animals much larger than itself. After swallowing, Titanoboa would rely on powerful digestive acids to break down the flesh, extracting nutrients to sustain its massive size and energy requirements. Titanoboa likely had well-developed sensory capabilities, including keen vision to detect movement in low-light environments and heat-sensing abilities similar to modern boas, allowing it to detect warm-blooded prey. Its advanced olfactory senses would also enable it to track scents in its environment, enhancing its hunting effectiveness. Due to its muscular, streamlined body and flexible spine, Titanoboa could move with surprising speed for its massive size. This capability would allow it to ambush prey with terrifying stealth, gliding silently through its swampy habitat, ready to strike with deadly precision. Titanoboa is believed to have eaten large animals, including fish up to 6 feet, which is 1.8 meters long, giant turtles, and crocodilians like Dinosuchus. Currently, Titanoboa fossils have primarily been found in the Sarajan Formation in Colombia, and there is no substantial evidence to suggest it lived in other locations. However, some researchers speculate that similar environmental conditions in other regions of the world during the Paleocene Epoch could have supported populations of the Titanoboa or closely related species. As of now, Colombia remains the only confirmed habitat for this giant snake. During Titanoboa's reign, Several other notable animals existed, including giant turtles, such as Cephophorus, large fish species like Sekla, large crocodilians, 
early mammals and other reptiles including various lizards and smaller snakes that coexisted in the same ecosystems. Despite its immense size, Titanoboa became extinct 60 million years ago. This was a result of significant climatic shifts during the transition from the Paleocene to the Eocene Epoch, which resulted in a global cooling trend and the alteration of tropical habitats. These changes likely led to a decline in the dense rainforests and wetland environments that supported Titanoboa and its prey, causing a reduction in available food resources. However, the extinction of Titanoboa may be considered fortunate, as its massive size and powerful constriction capabilities made it a terrifying apex predator. Had it survived into modern times, it could have posed an unimaginable threat to large mammals and humans, lurking silently in the shadows of rivers and swamps, ready to strike with lethal precision.